Hey guys, I wanted to go over non-inverting and inverting amplifiers. We've got that test next week. Anyway, I'm playing with it at home and I finally figured out how to get the right results for it. So I'm going to explain to you what's going on. So right now, what I have is the non-inverting amplifier going. Um, so starting from pin 3, you're your VN, your signal, is coming in along pin 3, which is your non-inverting pin. And then your feedback from pin 6 goes back to pin 2, which is your inverting input. That's grounded down here. Okay? So what you expect for this, since it's a non-inverting amplifier, is that your output is going to be non-inverted. Okay? So it's going to look just like what your input is except bigger. So, it's kind of hard to see, but here is your input and your output is amplified. Alright? Input, output. They're the same face. Okay? So when the small one is up, the big one's up. Small one's down, big one's down. Okay? Now, if we switch it to inverting, so what we do is we ground pin number three, which is your non-inverting pin. You put your signal in to number two. This right here is just going to my probe for the oscilloscope. Now, this is the inverting amplifier, okay? So what we have is our signal coming in through RI going into pin 2 and your feedback loop is going back to pin 2 again okay and then pin 3 is grounded and when we look at the scope what we get is whenever your input is down your output is up whenever your input is up your output is down okay so this is inverting because your signal is being inverted and that is what lab number 39 is. So as long as you build the circuit like this, um, so pin 2, pin 3, pin 4 has your, your uh, minus 15, pin 6, and then pin 7 has your plus 15. As long as you build it just like this and you flip your inputs, then you're good for that practical test next week. Anyway, if you have any questions, post up comments. Talk to you later.